lot more questions. Uh, about what? Uh, this next subject. Oh, well, yeah, we're going to get some legal expertise from Peterson Law Office. That's what we're doing right now, right here. <laughs> yes, we are. So we want to welcome Justin Peterson in with law advice. Of course, we are talking everything legal expertise. Yes. So tell me, what are we seeing right now as far as the roads are concerned? People heading out, summer yes, break, you, you know, do. what are we really seeing? You see a, you see a bigger volume of calls, obviously, because you see a lot, lot more traffic, especially highway type traffic and things like that. And so, you know, we're filling those calls on a daily basis. We, we hate that it happens to people, but we're here if they need the help, that's yeah. for sure. And this time of year, we're sending the kids off to summer camps. We're sending yeah. them off to day camps. And sometimes you sign waivers at these day camps and summer camps, right? right? right. But you, you say there, there might be a little catch to some of that, right? There, there is. We, we get a lot of calls from families that we represent or former families we represent. They want to talk about these waivers they're signing for their children. You know, does it waive liability? Are they going to the Bouncy Castle Place or, or one of these, you know, adventure parks or whatever? What most people don't know is that if your child is hurt at one of these places, those waivers are actually ineffective under Kentucky law. Our Kentucky Supreme Court handling a case has said that a parent cannot waive the negligence of someone else to your child. And so a lot of people are surprised by that because they say, well, I know I can't do anything because I signed a waiver or I signed a release. Well, the reality is that's not effective as it, as it applies to your child. Now, if an adult signs a waiver and they're hurt, that, that can be effective. For themselves, Now, now right? there's okay. ways to, there are ways to fight it under certain circumstances as, as their consideration for that release, you know, things like that. Uh, we won't get into that today, but as it applies to children, I would say the vast majority of time, if not almost all time, as it relates to personal injury, uh, those releases and waivers are not going to be uh, effective. They're not worth anything. Wow. Yep. And I know we were even talking about some vacation ideas, right? Right, right. So, I mean, let's say, Justin, we travel. We travel and we, we go down to Florida for the summer mm -hmm. or for a week or two. We're involved in an accident and we need legal help. I mean, yep. but we, we're like, but I want Justin to do this. Sure. You would advise us at least, right? Well, oh, what's the process absolutely. like that? Ha happens all the time. Call yesterday. Family involved in a bad motor vehicle accident in Florida. You know, they called me yesterday. They're from here in Lexington. And uh, they're okay, fortunately, but they're going to need some assistance with that. We're happy to help. You know, we have over 200 lawyers at our disposal through our joint venture with Whiteford, and we handle cases all over the nation. Uh, I'll be in Dallas in two months for a, a case down there involving a young child, uh, but we're happy to help. We handle the case pre-litigation. If we have to file a lawsuit, then either one of our attorneys who's licensed there will assist with that, and then they'll pro hoc me in, which is it's called pro hoc beachy. They get me into the case which is approved by the court so I can practice in that jurisdiction, or we hire what's called local counsel and we get them involved. So a lot of times attorneys from other states will call us and they'll call me to be local counsel and to help them pro hoc them into a case similarly. So we're happy to, to handle the case. We handle cases all over the country uh, and, and we're here to do that for, for folks here locally. Justin, how do you make people feel a little bit more comfortable? You know, a lot of times they're coming to you because they got into a situation, they don't know what to do, but they're also very scared, you know? How do you make them feel a little bit more comfortable about learning the process? Sure. And through well, everything? well, one, we make ourselves fully available because when people are stressed out and scared, they want to talk to somebody. And I may have already talked to them about the same thing over and over again, but we keep talking about it. They just need to hear those things. They need to know that someone's fighting for them, someone's in their corner. Uh, my cell phone's on my business card, and my wife hates that, but you know my <laughs> yeah. clients like that. And uh, it's one of those things where we just have to be readily available for them. That's how that's how we're going to do it for them. And Perfect. you can go over to justinpetersonlaw.com. You've got that 24-hour uh, uh, bot or not yep. bot? You talk to people. Yeah, it's, you a talk to people. it's a chat feature. Chat feature. Yeah. That's what it's called. Yeah. Thank you, and we appreciate Thank you, you so for being much. here. Yeah. Thank you.